It can be said that life comes at you fast, I guess, if you're Tessa Blanchard, the thing's running at you like it's a head-on freight train at 150 miles an hour, forcing you to slam on the brakes and get the hell out of the way. Holy cow. Only about 11 days into 2020 and already multiple instances of drama here on Wrestling Twitter. Ain't that something? So there's Tessa Blanchard, you know, thinking things are going well for her. She's positioned to potentially win the Impact Wrestling World Championship Sunday night, Hard to Kill or whatever the hell show is that I won't be watching and most of you won't be watching either. And goes on Twitter on Saturday and tweets that the ladies should be nice to each other, to paraphrase, and should support each other. Just a thought. But oh boy, you talk about opening Pandora's box. Good freaking God. Here's, here's Allison K chiming in, talking about an incident a couple of years ago where Tessa Blanchard allegedly spit in the face of a black wrestler and called her the you know what word. Then Chelsea Green weighing in, talking about how Tessa Blanchard is a bully and treated other women poorly, and other people are chiming in, agreeing with the allegations made by Allison K and saying they're true, talking about the bullying and so forth, and all of a sudden, what the hell is going on here? It's crazy. And here's Tessa Blanchard, just sitting there probably looking to hype up her match, looking to... Get some attention on herself. Well, baby, you got some attention on yourself. And I got to imagine right now Vince McMahon is sitting there and he is rubbing his hands together. And he's like, oh, I need her. Oh, I want her. That's the type of woman that I want in my WWE. Get me her for the Women's Royal Rumble and do it now. Like, I don't even want to talk about the farce that is, of all people, Tessa Blanchard getting a shot at the World Championship. What a farce that was in and of itself. At least take a woman that's more believable, more interesting, da 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 But let's, let's talk about the allegations themselves. Because they're not good. They're really, really not good. And it's not even just a one-off saying the N-word, and then also, by the way, spitting in somebody's face. Um, sure, that could happen. And sure, that could technically be classified as a mistake. And in and of itself alone should cause some damage to somebody. There should be a price to pay, but ultimately shouldn't be the death knell for them. It should not be the ultimate, ultimate cancel them forever type of thing. But when you're talking about, combined with that, allegations of bullying and trying to undercut people and treating people like crap on a consistent basis and you have enough of that, like that is a trend and a pattern of reckless, entitled, a nepotistic type of behavior. Now, some are sure going to sit there and say, man, it is awfully convenient, it is awfully convenient that women are just now opening their flappers to talk about this. It is awfully convenient. But you know what? If you ultimately did it, then the timing perhaps couldn't be better. Wait until the moment that that person's about to reach a pinnacle for themselves and help it all come crashing down. Maybe. But then you could also say that when you talk about these other women in the wrestling business, talking about the wrestling bubble itself, surely there's going to be some fear of speaking out, of lashing out. You've seen this, frankly, with black wrestlers in WWE. They know what the score is. They know what's up. And sometimes when they leave the company, they'll actually talk about it. And other times, even when they're gone from the company, they still won't because they're afraid they'll get blacklisted if they actually talk about the things that they damn good and well know is true. So sometimes it is hard to sit there and say it's awfully convenient and that makes it false. No. You could say it's weird Let's if somebody comes forward with a rape allegation 10 or 15 years afterwards. It, it is in theory, but if we're not in that person's situation and in that circumstance, and especially if they actually were a victim, 
You can't imagine it's an easy thing to go through. It impacts your life on a daily basis. It could be embarrassing. It could be any number of variety of things that feel like you're violated, feel like your sense of personal self has been stripped from you. Um, it doesn't automatically make that allegation false. It doesn't automatically make it true either just because somebody said it. But nonetheless, there's enough smoke here to be making a wrestling Twitter bonfire. There really is. And how ironic it is that you look at the tweet and what was said and the responses that came as a result. And if you really sit back and think about it, over these past couple of months, just, just really think about it for a second. And, and it'll make sense now. Sometimes it's one of those things that's been staring you in the face the whole time and it's so obvious that it's odd and weird, but you do not realize it until somebody helps shine the light on it. Here you've got Tessa Blanchard in a feud over a men's world championship of a major North American wrestling company getting ready to potentially win that strap on Sunday night. And yet you don't see other women in the business pumping it up and hyping it up and talking about it being a big deal, sending congratulations and best wishes to her, cheering for her, rooting for her. You hear crickets. Crickets. Sometimes it's what's not said that speaks volumes. Sometimes it's the silence that is the loudest of all. It should tell you that maybe, just maybe, she wasn't getting this positivity that she was asking for because Tessa's chickens have now come home to roost. You can't go through life treating people like crap. You can't go through life disrespecting them. You can't go through life doing a variety of things in theory, although we know that that's not entirely true whatsoever. And expect all of a sudden now when you're about to enjoy some type of success that everybody's going to freaking be happy for you. And sure, we can get into the whole thing about women and how they can be catty and petty and jealous and you know really sneaky about crap and all that is too really fake and phony. They'll pretend like they're really happy for you, but then they'll be the first ones to talk trash behind you when you're not there. That is all true. But even in this case, women seeing a woman potentially in position to win a men's world championship of a major North American professional wrestling company are not being overwhelming and talking about it or praising it or calling this a big signature moment in the history of women's wrestling or the wrestling business in general, Impact Wrestling as a company. They're not doing any of that. Like, that's got to tell you something. And you've got people out there within the business because, again, you talk about the marks in the business disconnected from reality. you got Moose talking about his crap, and of course he would defend somebody like Tessa Blanchard. He likes allegedly spitting in women's faces too, notably his wife. Then you go on there and you're talking about freaking I love Jesus and watch this get negativity. Yeah, because you picked the wrong side and then you throw in the name of Jesus. You deserve neg negativity, you stupid idiot. And the other's talking about, well, you make a mistake, and that, and I agree. Cancel culture is dangerous. Because as soon as somebody trips up, it's like everybody's waiting for somebody successful to screw up or make mistakes. Like they've never made any themselves. But as soon as somebody makes one mistake, or even some small mistakes, you want to bury them and ruin them forever. Like the toxicity of this world has always been there. It is not a new thing with the internet. It is not something exclusive to Twitter or social media. That just exacerbates and heightens the awareness to the worst of our qualities as a species. But when you're talking about a pattern of behavior, the getting into an argument when she broke up with Ricochet, allegedly costing her a contract with the WWE, like you can go on and on. There is a significant trend and pattern of behavior that is being alleged here to where you can't just say, oh, it's one mistake or, hey, it was one bad decision. No, this is a trend and this has been a pattern. And even if you say, well, now you're here and it's okay because 
you're better, you're different, and that's nice, but it doesn't change who you were in the past. It's like these billionaires that run for political office or president, and now all of a sudden they pretend to give a crap about the working man, like a Tom Steyer, for example. It's very ironic that a guy like that, or any other number of billionaires or multimillionaires that made their livings, a Mitt Romney you could throw in there as well, off of the backs of the working man and undercutting the working man, all of a sudden, now that they're in power and they got money, look at me, I now care about the working man. That's great that you had that alleged epiphany, but it doesn't change all the other people you burned and buried along the way to get there. It's just not that hard to be better to people. It just shouldn't be that hard. I feel no sympathy for Tessa Blanchard. This crap is true. She deserves every bit of the crap that she deserves. Now, she does not deserve to be permanently canceled, but she deserves to eat crap and like the taste of it for an extended period of time. And even when she responded on Twitter, like she didn't even deny the racial component of it, which is just like, oh, true, true, true. You don't even address it. Oh, you're just these ridiculous accusations. You got enough people around you that are saying these things. At some point in time, they start to add up. You got so few women in the business that are actually pumping up what you're going to be doing tomorrow night. That adds up after a while. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And this is probably tough news for a number of Tessa Blanchard fans, but... You know what? It's just a reminder of uh, be careful with some of these people because you might like them until you actually get to know them. And ironically enough, sometimes the people that you think you hate or aggravate you or drive you nuts might be better to you in person than these people that you look up to, worship, and adore, and so forth. Be careful of your heroes and certainly don't ever meet them because a lot of them will probably disappoint you. My hope is is the good news that could come out of this in the short term is that Impact Wrestling does not put their world title on her come Sunday night, which again was a ridiculous notion to begin with. Furthermore, now it's absolutely critical that they don't, isn't it? Isn't it? Or do they go ahead? Or do they embrace the controversy? And do they roll with her anyways? Because in the grand scheme of things, A, it's Impact Wrestling, so who the hell's watching and who the hell really cares? B, unfortunately, more importantly, when we talk about things like racism and abuse and treating others poorly, it is woven deep into the fabric of professional wrestling throughout its history. And yet so many of us, white and black alike, continue to watch. Now, that doesn't make us bad people for watching, but let's be honest. A lot of us, a lot of us, We'll sit there and talk about these things, but in the grand scheme of things, nothing changes and nothing really happens about it. And you can sit there and say, this allegation against this person, and people will focus on this person and the bad things they said or the bad things they did, but yet they'll stand for four other fucking jerks that were every bit as bad, if not worse. Is what it is. Her chickens came home to roost. Hopefully something good comes out of it, which is that company not putting the world title on her come Sunday night. But if they do, you know what's going to happen? A bunch of people are going to complain about it initially, and then in a couple of days, everybody will forget about it. And nothing will change and nothing will matter.